Tonight we start with an exclusive interview about the possible future of flights at the Erie Airport, and it comes after United Airlines abruptly announced they were stopping service to Erie effective in June. A shock to airport operations and local flyers while well, service stoppage by airlines. It's not only happening here, but it's happening across America as well. So we brought this issue to the Department of Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg himself. Erie News Now Washington DC correspondent Rachel Knapp spoke with the secretary directly about this. Rachel, what did he have to say? Good evening, Mike and Eva. So Secretary Buttigieg is well aware of the situation and he is reassuring me that the DOT is doing everything they can to make sure airports like Erie have reliable air service. We have passengers, we just don't have seats. And that's, that's the challenge that we're dealing with is we have people that want to use the airport. Um, the planes are going out full. Derek Martin, the executive director of Erie International Airport, says business and educational opportunities bring in people from all over the world to Erie. But like many airports across the U.S., the COVID pandemic impacted the industry. The global pandemic was a lot worse on uh, aviation because they got rid of too many pilots. And then the cost of pilots have gone up dramatically because they got rid of too many. While Erie doesn't get the same amount of travelers like Philadelphia, Martin says the travel demand for Erie is still high. But in early March, United Airlines announced their departure from Erie beginning in June. In a brief statement, United cited their departure from Erie after careful analysis of operations and market demand. What we were surprised is that the airport was operating at a 90% load factor. 90% of our seats were full. Uh, when United announced their service departure. The announcement also took place after millions have been invested into improving the airport. We brought this issue to the Department of Transportation secretary himself. I know firsthand how important these smaller airports can be. It's one of the reasons why we're funding improvements at airports of all sizes, not just the JFKs and the LAXs of the world, but uh, uh, smaller airports uh, like the ones you see in the region where I come from, like uh, air airports of the size of Erie's airport as well. I'm concerned anytime I see that an airline is withdrawing service. We're making clear to airlines that uh, we're looking for them to provide more, not less, especially to these smaller communities, raising the bar on customer service. So so that you don't see the kind of cherry picking that leaves uh, some uh, some customers or passengers behind only having to uh, some of the lower service options to choose from. While Buttigieg says he can't control the airlines, the DOT pushes them to do the right thing. We're going to make sure they know that we believe communities of all sizes need to get good service. Would you be interested in maybe looking into going to United and saying, hey, this is something that um, the Erie area uh, people would really like to have back or into the is that something that you'd be interested in looking into? Yeah, I'm certainly going to look more into what's happening with Erie and making sure uh, United and other airlines understand our expectation that they provide good service to communities of all sizes. And one last thing, Mike and Eva, Martin is reassuring the community that they are also doing everything they can at the airport to keep up with demand as well as continue to bring people and business to the Erie area. Mike, Eva, back to you.